Hold up. Hold up. It's your girl Angel and welcome to my channel I'm Perfect Angel where we're young Christian lit period new people welcome if you're a subscriber or if you're not new to this channel welcome back I know it's been a long time I don't think I posted a video in like two months and excuse me for looking crazy I haven't put on any makeup I'll probably do that later once I check into my hotel I'm about to go to the good city of Houston for those of you who don't know I used to live in Dallas. I was living in Dallas for like three, four years. And then I decided to move back in with my mom at the end of 2020. So I've been living with her for like six or seven months now. And my time here, I believe, is up. I can't live like, even when I'm like doing something intentionally and for a purpose, like I'm here to save money and open businesses or start businesses and stuff like that even when i'm being productive i myself i can't just live with anybody anybody like my mom sister cousin ain't it? i can't live with nobody over a certain amount of time so it's time for me to go ahead and move forward <laughs> probably about my goal is to like move around my birthday which is august end of august so it's currently june right now so i still have a couple of months to make a decision but i'm gonna try to be proactive and have everything you know already picked out planned out and have all my ducks in a row so i don't be trying to get something at the last minute or end up procrastinating and not moving into like december or the first of next year so i got my goal set out and how i want to do this move because this move is literally the last move i'm doing until like i'm ready to either buy a penthouse or build me my own custom house this is it so this apartment has to be something that i really really love so I'm about to go grab me. I don't know if I'm gonna go to Starbucks or if I'm gonna go to McDonald's, but I'm about to go grab me some type of iced coffee and then I'll head on to Houston. So I'll probably see you guys in Houston. Okay, y'all, so I made it to the good old city of H-Town. I thought the man yesterday said that I was going to be able to check in early at my hotel if I paid like $50 or something. So I was like, okay, cool. But then I called when I got there and because the parking and stuff was crazy. So I called ahead of time and they was like, well, we don't have any rooms available right now, blah, blah, blah. So I got to wait till three. But my first apartment tour is at one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this um, this apartment tour before I check in. By the time I get down there, I should be ready to check in. So right now I'm at the famous Frenchies that I've heard so much about. I think I tried it a while back whenever I was in college, but it's been years, years, years on top of years since I tried it. So I'm having a little cheat day because y'all know I'm supposed to be pescatarian or whatever. So I'm gonna have me a little cheat day, eat me some chicken. And let's see what this old hype is about. Cause you know, Dallas got uh, Rudy's and they say Houston got Frenchies. So we are gonna see what it's talking about. So I will see y'all whenever I get to my first apartment tour. So that was the Sky Lounge that I just showed you all. This is a, I believe this is a one bedroom. Here's when you first walk in. It's a little comfortable seat. It's a great And on the right side, it is, okay. Here, side by side washer and dryer. Cute, it's a lot of space, not just a lot of space walk in and there's a lot of shelving okay i'm gonna have to get somebody to decorate my apartment like <laughs> okay cute little lights the island i need an island i've always wanted like a big island i had a big island in my last apartment but 
it wasn't like that. Okay, side by side refrigerator and freezer. Cute. I didn't have that in my last apartment in Dallas. They told me to open up the cameras and they like kind of like smart clothes or something. I don't know, let me see. Is it? Oh, uh, okay. They'll like close themselves. Cute, fancy. The gooseneck again. Big deep sink. They also told me that it has like a wine. Okay, I don't like wine, but a lot of my friends like wine. So they have like a little wine cooler thingy. That's a lot of cabin space. And they said that this was a, okay, it's a gas stove and it's like smart or something like. Okay, I can help you cook for people that don't know how to cook like myself. Okay, that's cool. Um, whatever. This is the living room. It has a really high ceiling. I think it's like 10 or 11 foot ceiling. It's a really nice ceiling. Has a pretty good view. I really want like complete floor to, floor to ceiling windows, but that is a huge window, so that will probably do. It has a nice view. said the Toyota Center was somewhere around here, but I don't know. Anyways. Um, I don't know what's up in there, but here's the, the um, bedroom. Uh, I guess it's decent size. It's bigger than my last, so I can't really complain too much. But what, what these are freaking burning, they need to be huge. A good view from the bedroom. Let's see what this bathroom is gonna be good. A lot of these places ain't got no freaking tub in their bathrooms. What? What's the light? Okay, this is a nice size. I don't know if y'all to see me because I'm looking crazy. I think I'm going. I prefer. I know they have some that have like the um the standalone shower and tub separate. So I think that's what I'm going for. So I probably won't be in a unit like this, but yeah. Pretty nice size closet. Plus I'm trying to be on my minimalist stuff, so I don't even need all this closet space, so. Yeah, so this is the one bedroom. I think it's like an A5 or something. I think I want like the A7, but she doesn't have one available to tour right now. So next I'm about to go look at what they say. About to go look at the amenities on the ninth floor and then oh yeah and this is on the 20th floor which i really really like then going to the third floor for a two bedroom and then oh they do have the instrument okay cool i can't wait to show y'all that one because that one is fly and it's on the first floor which i don't like because i want to be high up but we'll see so i'll catch y'all at the amenities So here's another lounge, the downtown lounge is what it's called. The other one was called the Sky Lounge because it was on the top floor, which is the 21st floor. This has nice views as well. Nice finishes, the fireplace. Has little offices, so I'm pretty sure you can like maybe reserve and stuff. Business meetings. I don't feel like going in there it's too much. It's cute though. So, um, I think I'm gonna go to the, um, excuse me. I'm gonna go to the hole. Oh, put these people down. Get a good view as well. It's hot as hell out here, 
course, I'm not gonna be out here long. I think the weight room, I think the weight room or the gym or whatever you wanna call it is over here as well. So. Let's see. It's a cool, it's a cute little pool. I guess I will. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No. I told them not to. Mm -hmm. So here's the gym. I have a lot of equipment actually. Yeah, they have a lot of equipment. Oh, here they have him. I'm not going back out there, it's too hot. So, y'all gonna see it from here. Dumbo chests, hammocks. It looks like they're working on some stuff out there. Another chill area. So, I'll catch back up with y'all whenever I get to the second bed, or the two bedroom apartment. Toodles. Okay, you guys, here's the two bedroom. What am I stepping on? Here's the two bedroom. Washer and dryer. I wanna speed this up because I don't want this vlog to be super long. Let's go over here first. Let me see. This is probably like a coat closet. Yep. Here's one of the bedrooms, which would probably be like my little something, like office maybe, probably an office or something like that make it real cute here's the closet i would definitely not look into a guest bedroom like no <laughs> first bathroom my office's bathroom deep tub you got a view why you boo boo <laughs> oh there's the toilet center there it is it's kind of nice to have a view while you boo boo Okay, let me stop. That's okay, there we go. Look at this. This is so freaking beautiful. This has the wine. This is where the big island as I want. So I kind of have the same look, pretty much. The smart stove. Side by side refrigerator. Oh, it has like a little nook over here. I could probably put like a dining room table right here. So cute the view, balcony. The other one didn't have a balcony. Let's see. Wait. Come on, let me get up out of here. Okay, I don't know how to, oh, there we go. Okay, pretty good patio space. Or balcony space, but I don't know. Oh, but this is so pretty at night. What? Right, I'm breaking down with this. There's some little bar stools right there. Um, it's a decent size living room, I guess. I don't. I guess my couch is looking right here. TV right there. Okay. Anyways, here's the master. I'm assuming the which is not have floors or really windows, but it's pretty big, so I won't complain. Great. Well, they need to trim these little trees and then my view will be better, but whatever. Bathroom. Got the double sink, huge mirror, and the separate stand up shower is perfect. And then, once again, the closet that I really don't even need all this, but it's cool or whatever. I might turn it to like a shopping market or something someday. Okay, so I'm really loving this one. Turn these people lights off. This is just, this is what I wanted. Like, the floors and the windows turn out. It's perfect. But I still have one more. So, like I said, I'm going to speed this up. And I'll see y'all on the first floor. Okay, you guys. So, this is the last unit that I'm going to tour for this apartment complex. I really like this one because it has a half bathroom bed. What's up? Because I don't like people using the restroom. So this is a very big plus for this one. 
It has the island that I've worn. A double door refrigerator. Everything else pretty much looks the same. It has a little wine cooler thing that I won't use. This is cute. This is like my, my computer and iPad and stuff. Has the floor and the windows that I want. Pretty sure that's the washer and dryer. It has a balcony. I really wanted a place that had like the automatic engine barbs, but it's on the first floor, so that's really the only con right now that I'm having so much is because I do not want to be on the first floor. But I'm getting a puppy, so that might work out for the best. It's a pretty nice size room. Pretty nice size room. Let's look at this bathroom. Big mirror, double sink, lot of cabin space, country, whatever you call it. Ooh, and it has the separate garden tub with a little seat in it. Okay. And this shower. Look at this shower. And it has a seat in the shower. Tell me that's not beautiful. Tell me that's not beautiful. Little toilet or whatever. And then a closet. has a really big closet. A really big closet that I don't need. But it's just so like, this is beautiful. I think this is my favorite so far. If maybe they can get me more like on the <laughs> 15th floor or something, this one would be perfect. Like, I wouldn't even care because I wanted a two bedroom so bad, but I ain't even gonna lie. The two bedrooms here, I'm stretching my budget a little bit. But you know, if I just absolutely love it, then I do what I gotta do to get what I want. So, yeah, this is the last one that I'm going to tour here. The next place I have um, the appointment is at four. So I will see y'all there. So you guys, I have, I had two more tours for tomorrow. I haven't put on any, I haven't done anything myself. Like really, my wig even on Cricut. <sighs> I'm so exhausted, I'm hungry. It's just been a lot. But I do have two more tours tomorrow well only one now because i've gotten so many um bad reviews on sky house here in um houston so i'm just canceling it because they're like people are saying terrible things about sky house so i'm just gonna go to one more tomorrow and i'm probably just gonna be chill for the rest of the night what's today saturday i might see what one of my friends friends is doing tonight but if they not doing nothing i'm gonna be chilling relaxing enjoying this room enjoying time alone to myself so i'll see you guys either later on i might vlog with my friend i'm gonna see if they want to vlog if not i'll see y'all tomorrow what's up y'all so it's the next day or whatever and i i really just woke up like my face is breaking out so bad Oh, oh my gosh but anyways um i'm about to check out of my hotel i really need to do that because it's 11 25 and i'm supposed to be checked out at 11. i was supposed to have two tours today um but i've been getting confirmation after confirmation that one of these high rises that i was going to um go look at is just not what it is like they're saying like it's police over there every day type stuff so i'm just like what and it was crazy because it was like my favorite one like they have this one two bedroom floor plan that is beautiful it has like the wrap around floor to the windows i'm like what are y'all serious like that's what i've been looking for and it was pretty affordable which probably makes sense now like it wasn't cheap cheap like it was still like over two thousand dollars but it was affordable compared to like the ones i showed y'all yesterday um i was like maybe that's why um, so yeah, I'm, I canceled that one because I'm not even going to waste my time. So I have another one at 2 o'clock, which I really should like try to call them to see if maybe they can move it up because what I'm going to do for two hours, like, 
what I'm about to do. I'll probably go find me something to eat, I guess. And then, yeah, I won't have nothing to do. I went and looked at puppies yesterday's pastime, so. I don't know. Maybe I just ride around Houston and get a feel of uh, the Houston life or whatever. But, yeah. And it's crazy because the, um, the person, um, what is this? The, per the dude that works here at the, um, that checked me in, I can't think of their name. Um, he was like, downtown Houston is like really lame, like compared to other downtowns, like he wouldn't even recommend living downtown. I'm like, what? But I was like, I don't really care about it being like hype or anything because I'm a homeboy. I probably will be in the house most of the time. I just want a high rise like that's my main thing that's why i'm looking downtown uptown midtown because that's where the high rises are like you can't go out into uh whatever they're like katie spring the woodlands and like find like good high rises and stuff like that so these people are so extra but um and find like the type of apartment that i'm looking for so he told me to go look in an area called the heights so i'll do some research an agent is supposed to be getting with me to help me find exactly what i'm looking for because all the reason i'm being super picky this time is because this is my last time moving like until i either build me a house or buy a condo or something like that this is my last time moving so i gotta have what i want this time because i know i'm gonna be here at least probably like five years <laughs> no cap i hate moving i freaking hate moving so yeah so i'm about to go give me some i'm about to check out this hotel for they charge me i have to pay for freaking valet like 50 dollars just to park my freaking car here um and so let me go ahead and check out i'll probably go give me something to eat and i'll see you guys i might talk i might come back whenever i'm eating I'll show you guys what i'm eating i might go get lotus I've heard that's a really good place um, so yeah, I'll see y'all either when I'm eating. I'm scratching my leg because something bit me. Something bit me and it's itching. It was probably a mosquito when I was on a lot at my grandma's. But, um, so I'll probably see y'all whenever I'm eating or either when I'm at my next and final apartment tour for this weekend. See you later. Okay, guys, so this is the last apartment tour of the weekend this is a one bedroom it's nicely sized it's a patio with the view nice views one bedroom it's a pretty nice sized bedroom with views again it's not for the ceiling but i can make this work and my favorite part is of course the bathroom with the separate garden type and the stand up shower. Next, we will be viewing the two bedroom, so stay tuned. Second, this is the two bedroom, it has a little entryway. One first bedroom connects with the bathroom, sliding door closet. Goes into the second bedroom. Same kind of look, but this one has the stand up shower that I love, of course. And then we get to the beautiful living room. This is just a perfect living room. The windows, with the balcony, view of downtown with a nice size kitchen. Y'all, I, I cannot even lie. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just waking it up, kind of. I just came back from the car project. But I can't even lie. Man, what's this calling me? I totally forgot about this vlog. It's Monday morning. And I forgot to catch back up with y'all after my last tour on Sunday, which I loved, loved, loved that apartment. Like, and it had like so many amenities. Like I've never toured an apartment in Dallas or Houston that has so many different amenities. Like they had the valet 
um, parking for residents, 24 hour concierge. It was it was really nice and it was in my price range. The two bedrooms, they were kind of pricey for the bigger ones, but the one that I actually showed is um it was affordable. It was in my price range. Um so yeah, uh I'll probably take my time because I was about to decide on one yesterday, but I was like, let me just calm down. I'm not in a rush. I can literally move whenever I want to. Cause I was like, I kinda, as soon as I put myself like on a timeline, cause I was like, I wanna move before my birthday. My birthday is August 27th. So as soon as I put myself on like a timeline, I start to panic and I start to just rush myself. And it's just, it's not a good situation. So I was like, Angel, you literally can move whenever you want to like. August, September, October, July. Now, like you can you can move whenever, so just give yourself enough time. Don't rush it. Houston is huge. Like there's so many different apartments I can, you know, check out. I don't just have to make a decision, especially for the price tags for these apartments. You don't want to just rush into something and you end up not liking it or you end up seeing something better, you know, later on. So and I'm not moving again. Once I move, this move, that's it for at least five years. I'm gonna be at this place for at least five years. I think I already said that before. But yeah, I just had to reiterate it because I'm so serious about that. So yeah, that kind of concludes my um, luxury Houston apartment tours. I'll probably make a part two to this video because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm hiring an agent to help me find places that I will like and that are in my budget and stuff like that in Houston, just like I did in Dallas. So, it'll probably be a part two to this and hopefully I'll find something that I like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so sorry for the big gap once again. I'm just, I'm so inconsistent with this. It's just hard. Especially with all the stuff that I have going on, trying to start businesses and stuff like that. It gets tough. But, yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 300 subscribers. Oh, snap. I forgot I was supposed to be arranging like a giveaway. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot. Next video, I will definitely be arranging a giveaway. Follow me on my Instagram so that you guys can get the instructions on how to be, um, how to participate in the giveaway. My Instagram is the imperfect angel, two L's underscore, I think. <laughs> I can't even remember. It's too early. It's already like eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning. I'll put it on the screen. Follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I don't really be on Snapchat or Twitter, but yeah but definitely follow me on instagram so that you can participate in the giveaway i'm not sure what i'm going to be giving away yet but it's going to be something good because i was thinking about hair but i was like it got to be something for my male and female so it got to be like unisex giveaway gift i'll think about something if you got any ideas on what i should give away or, or maybe like some airpods or something i don't know i'll think about it Y'all give me some ideas in the comment section because I'll be forever trying to figure out what I should give away. So many choices. But thank y'all got thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I love you guys and I will see you guys next Sunday.